everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and for a long time now I've been wanting to do some nail art based on Facebook reactions. When they upgraded the like system I thought the faces were super cute but I've put off recreating them as I thought they'd be too tricky and painful to do. Turns out it's not actually that bad. I've included quite a few tricks to getting them accurate and symmetrical and I hope you find them useful. Make sure you go like my own Facebook page as well as subscribe and thumbs up this video. Thanks for watching and enjoy. The first reaction we're going to do is a love one. This is really simple, just paint two coats of red nail polish on your nail. Check the down bar for more information on the polishes used. Then use your Nail to NZ detail brush to paint on the outline of the heart in white polish. You may want to switch up your hand position every now and again to make sure it's symmetrical and in the middle. Once it's outlined, fill it in with more white polish and then let it dry. Once that's done, just apply another coat and here it is. While this is cute, it's not actually my favourite nail, the next one is. The next nail I'm showing you is the one based on the Ha Ha reaction. Again, two coats, this time in yellow polish and then again with the detail brush I'm going in, first creating a straight line just above the middle of the nail. I'm then adding a couple of small lines going down at each side and then painting on the squinting eyes. This can be tricky to get symmetrical, so I'll show you what I did to get around that in a moment. First though, finish off the black around the mouth and let the whole thing dry for a few minutes. Alright, so my little trick here is to use white polish to go over any mistakes, smooth out lines and make the design a lot more even. Bear in mind I do use normal polish for most of my designs, but if you use gel polish you can probably fix it up a lot easier by just not curing it yet. Alright, so apply this white polish and make sure it completely covers the black, otherwise you'll see it underneath. Once that's dry, paint some more yellow over the white, and you'll see that once you apply a top coat later on, you won't even notice that you use this little trick. Next we're going to add in the red tongue, so make a curve with your detail brush with the same red we used for the heart. Start off small and make it bigger if need be, it's a lot easier doing it that way than the other way around. Then once that's done, do the same white yellow fix up trick from before and then you'll have the nail looking something like this. Right, moving on. Let me know which nail is your favourite and if you'd like me to experiment with more nail art based on social media icons. For the pink, we're starting off with two coats of yellow and then applying some Simply Peel. Let them both dry and then because this is the angry nail, we're going to sponge on a yellow to red gradient. Apply some red and yellow polish onto a makeup sponge and then dab it onto the nail to create the effect. You may want to go over it a couple of times. Then peel off the Simply Peel and use a Nail to NZ clean up brush and some nail polish remover to get rid of the excess polish that's still hanging around. Now it's time to paint the face. Again, with a detail brush, paint a couple of lines in the middle of the nail and then make a curved line for a grumpy mouth. Do them thin to start off with and make them thicker when you go over them, so you'll have something to work with if they need to be made a bit more symmetrical. Use a dotting tool next and make a little dot underneath the top two lines for eyes. And that's the angry reaction done. Next I'll show you how to paint the sad reaction, this is quite easy too I think. Paint two coats of yellow polish as with the other nails. Next we're using the Nail to NZ dotting tool and making a couple of dots in black for the eyes. Then use a detail brush to pop in eyebrows and once you're done there make a little curved mouth. I did the whole white yellow fix up trick off camera here as you can see and then came back in with a detail brush and blue polish to create a little teardrop coming from one eye. Now I did film the wow reaction but unfortunately it turned out like this so that kind of sucks. On the upside, it is the easiest one, and now that you've seen the rest, you'll have no problem recreating it. Top coating has to be done quite carefully for these designs, as the colours are so contrasting. Apply just a stroke or two on the areas of most contrast first, so like the yellow and black, and then just wait for that to dry. Then apply another top coat normally across all of the nails. I've got a whole video on avoiding smudging a nail out if you want to watch it, it'll be linked down below. Alright, that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial and remember to subscribe, thumbs up and check out my nail art brush line if you do. 
Thanks so much for watching and I will see you with a new video next weekend.